And hello and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. I am Lord Foran here playing as the Netherlands. So this is our hunt for the Sinopel achievement. We have got, we're going to have three of them done. The biggest issue we are looking at is we need to get Republican tradition to, what is it, 99? 100%. It's going to take a long time. Um... So we're not going to do too, too much in the meantime, because I'm planning on jumping back to the save of like four or five years ago, July something, when we we're HRE Emperor, because the HRE is pretty united here and is growing. So I'd prefer to stay HRE Emperor rather than letting Bohemia form the HRE, especially after all that work I did to consolidate it, which really wasn't that much. So uh, most of what's going on here is going to be entirely useless. Um, we're just going to sit around here and pretty much try and get Republican tradition to 100%. How, so the easiest way for me to do that is going to be hire a level 3 guy. Um, can't promote him, obviously. He's too expensive. But getting 10 per month is going to help significantly with getting Republican tradition to 100. It's going to take us like a hundred months to do so. So it's gonna take like 10 years. So that's pretty much what this episode's gonna be is just grinding Republican tradition. It's gonna be a little bit more, honestly. I'm not seeing any like events that help us, which is kind of annoying. Oh well. We slowly get a little bit. We've got the prestige, we've got the other stuff. Burgundy's now rivaled me. Everybody is rivaling me. All the great powers, except for England, are my rivals. Speaking of England, they hate me too, by the way. They've got a Russia as a junior partner now. Sometimes I forget you guys can't actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> I just went like major shrug. Because um, there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> Absolutely nothing I can do about that. Now, how much does the Ming hate me? The Ming don't even know who I am right now. Good. Uh, we can't convert that, even though I want to. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. Okay. Uh, just keep strengthening this government. Really, if I wanted to really do well with the Republican tradition, uh, I should have gone the other form, gone with the statists, and then rebuilt, built up Republican tradition, done it the other way. Unfortunately, I didn't, didn't think about it, forgot that, I didn't know actually, to be honest, how much you get for paying 100 military points. I'd assume it would have been higher, but apparently I was wrong. Yeah, my fault. Um... Let's just quick convert Bermuda here. That way I don't, for some reason, suffer a Catholic revolt in Bermuda of all places. If all these peace treaties have just expired with everybody else we know of. We're still allied to a lot of these guys, which is nice. Um, creation of the Amsterdam Stock Exchange, strict control, or expand loan market. I'm going to say... Probably strict strict control. Because, well, I don't know if, if those events only fire if you're the Dutch Republic. Oh. I don't actually know. Well, that's a bit of an issue. Oh, I really want to form the HRE, though, from the Netherlands at this point. Especially because, other than the heavy ship and the other stuff, it functions almost the same. Okay, let's boost Republican tradition again. Still got a long way to go. I would refocus it, but unfortunately we're stuck not being able to focus military 
stuff. I kind of want to go invade Africa and stuff, because I was going to do that, but there's no point in doing it if I'm going back in time. Okay, regardless, we have now made it to 70 Republican tradition. We still have a long way to work to go, but... Okay, so it does form the New Netherlands. I was curious what would happen once I did all that. The Swiss are asking me to help fight Burgundy. Sure, but it's not going to do anything. Okay, that's all set up right. Trick is right here. Obviously we're under siege. I just want to make sure the trade is being sent properly. Yeah, okay. Our income should have, yeah, just jumped again. Okay, we are fighting Burgundy. We are promised territorial gains from this war. It's not going to make much difference if we're going to go back in time, but whatever. I'm sure you guys would have liked me to continue this way, but HRE is too valuable of a prize for me to want to give up. I'm at war with Liege as well. Great. There's nothing too overwhelmingly great about being the Netherlands that I'm seeing that I have to stay as. Doesn't change my missions, doesn't change any of that. So we'll stay with what we got. Um, three out of four, we just need that Republican tradition. Maybe if we're lucky our ruler will die and we can get the uh, other people in control for a while, build up Republican tradition and then go back. Also, Venice has shown up with, what, 32,000 troops? That's a... Uh, to be sure it is a Venice that has conquered Milan. Despite getting smashed by the Ottomans, they're doing better than I'd expect. I'm going to stockpile um, military points rather than just spend them every time I have 100 because that has the downside of not always having the resources I need when I need them. Means die, that's fine. This HRE is glorious. All thanks to me converting those last people. Boy, that this is a smashing victory for us versus them. I guess my troops are really that much better than Burgundy's now. I have to remember that going back in time. Burgundy is weak. Obviously, I can't expand in Europe that much, but nor do I really want to. I really just want to consolidate this area and from it, like form the HRE or something for fun. be nice if it gave you like the percentage towards 71 that the Republican tradition was at because we don't actually know where it is at. Oh, I'll send that army up to Lubeck, I guess. Uh, he's trying to s actually no, I've got to go smash rebels I think. Right. Kuban separatists, uh, maybe not. Well, you guys are going to get a little bit of alternate history even within Europa, which is kind of cool. So this is the way it could have gone if we had been a republic. Oh, I should probably give this to Switzerland, since apparently they want that. This is actually a pretty good Switzerland if you look at it. How many troops do they have? Only 7,000. Eh. Taking advantage of my alliance with them, I think, a little bit. Us and Milan. That would explain why Switzerland's doing so well. They allied Milan. 
uh, not Milan, Venice, which helped them kill Milan. Actually, I am going to strengthen the government because it is ca does cause unrest. Or it does reduce unrest, rather. Well, that was convenient if we had, if this was the correct <coughs> timeline, which it isn't, but I still appreciate it nonetheless. Obviously, I'll still keep this save, so if for some strange, bizarre reason I die any other time, we'll come back to this, but I really don't see that happening. I still obviously have to keep the country going until we go back in time, even if it would be easier to just sit around and let time tick up. Roughly 700 more military points. That's all we need, pretty much. Give or take one or two. Once I go back in time, though, we'll we'll play for quite a while more as that Netherlands. We're not just going to stop after I got the achievement. I'll, I'll keep going. I mean, assuming people don't really want me to keep going once I have the achievement, but I happily keep playing as the Dutch. It's funner than I'd expect. Even though funner is not really a word. Unless other people have other achievements and stuff they want me to go do, which don't involve playing as the Netherlands. Maybe I'll stick a poll out for you guys. The slow strengthening of the government continues. So apparently if you do Protestant and you do the correct reform, you still actually gain Republican tradition even if you do have the Orangus in power, which is kind of interesting. I'd have assumed it'd been the other way around, really. Um, oh, reinforce Republican values. Interesting. Defend those people. We could technically change back to a monarchy. <laughs> Not that I really want to. I'd much rather stay as a monarchy than enact all the reforms, have to reset them, and then continue from there. Oh well. Ooh. Yeah, we're not going to lock it or lose Republican tradition. Sorry, game. Boost that a bit more. We'll strengthen government. Every little bit helps in this case. Five more, essentially. Or four more if it ticks up fast enough. I think at this point we let, we keep the Orangists in power. So long as his death doesn't massively cost us Republican tradition, which could be the case.
just going to keep converting these even though there's not a lot of point to it at this point. What are we doing in terms of controlling the Ivory Coast? Pretty good actually. Obviously in the other timeline we will definitely attack the Ashanti there to pick up both centers of trade they have. It's some pretty nice lands. Pretty nice land that we really want. Um, we don't care about New World colonization rights, but I guess I can do it. Take some cash. 700 cash. That's lovely. Technically, as the Netherlands, I could actually have like two or three more colonies going. I may have to consider doing that. Great Britain has been formed. The Isles are still hanging on there. Good for them. We are at 90. So roughly three more, assuming it takes us... Well, it'll take us 30 months, so it should hopefully grow to 91. And then we will jump back in time and be a monarchy with actual reforms passed. And more importantly, we'll have absolutism so we can actually expand. Because in the other timeline, I really want to reconquer the rest of the lowlands. And it's much easier to do that when you've got monarchies with the chance of unions and you have the might of the HRE behind you. Because right now, Bohemia is probably going to be locked into being HRE emperor until they pass reforms. And I would prefer not to let an AI form the HRE, if at all possible. <laughs> Kind of, it would feel like a personal failing on my part to be in a game where I let the AI form the HRE. And unlike most countries that form the HRE, as the Netherlands, we probably could actually support forming the HRE because of the sheer amount of money we get from uh, taxation. We're still not even uh, large enough to be an individual great power. Oh well. Nice little New Netherlands growing up there on the coast. Dominating the trade node almost already. Apparently Portugal has gone for Louisiana. In the other timeline we're definitely going to want to try and get control of more of Mexico before Castile gets there. It doesn't look like anybody's actually invaded the Aztec region so we will have to do that. Handful more months here till we're done. Another year or two in game. Oh, apparently it's cheaper out because of the innovation stuff. Nice. Hopefully we've got about eight months, eight, nine months left, and then we're done. Depends if this month takes us to 97. It didn't. Okay. Congolese separatists. I also no longer steer trade to us, that's fine. Not really worried about an uprising there, because we're going to be going back in time. But whatever. How many more months till we get this achievement? I think six at most. Really depends when the Republican tradition ticks it up. Uh, the plus modifier is not me. There we go, 99, and we got the achievement. Okay, you guys didn't see it, but it popped up on my screen. So there we go. We now have Sinopple. Sinasopple, maybe. Sinasopple. Sinasopple? I don't know. Dutch viewers, how do you say that? If not, well, whatever. Congratulations, we got another achievement. So uh, I'll probably throw out a poll just to see if you guys want me to continue this. Um, 
if I be, I assume you guys will, so I probably will do some recording otherwise. But uh, let me know if you want me to continue from this point um, back in time. I guess I'll ask back in time or stay with this. We're not doing as well in this because obviously I've been neglecting it. So I prefer to go back in time, form the HRE as the Netherlands. But that was an achievement I've wanted to get for a while because I've never really done much with the Netherlands. So thank you guys all for watching, and that will be it for this episode. Bye for now.